Hi guys, this is the first kind of supplementary or ad hoc video that I'm going to make for Cube Skills. So I'm going to make these in addition to the structured tutorial content. Uh, they won't be too frequent and I'll either post them on you know, YouTube or Facebook or maybe both of those places. The aim with these is just to be able to shoot something really quickly without too much planning or editing. So these won't be as uh, clear and concise as some of the other videos. I might ramble a bit more, I might do random things, uh, but they should be helpful nonetheless. Because there's not much planning or editing that goes into these, they shouldn't distract very much from the main module and tutorial content. So recently we had a member ask for some advice on her 7x7 solves um, and because at the moment we're not doing 6x6 and 7x7 tutorials for a little while, uh, I thought it would probably just be easy to just upload some 7x7 center example solves uh, just to show you how you can be a bit more efficient in solving your centers. So her issue was that she could turn very well, her look ahead during edges was really good, but her centers were not as efficient as they could possibly be. Um, so she was doing centers in around kind of 1 minute 35, 1 minute 40 with quite high TPS. Um, and But she, the problem was she was doing centers in the exact same way every time by doing bars of 1 by 5 blocks. And the important thing with centers or one of the big things with big cube centers is to be quite flexible and adaptive to the pieces that pop up during your solve. So don't restrict yourself. This is the main point of this video. Don't restrict yourself to just solving, say, 1 by 5 bars uh, on all the centers in all of your solves. You can do stuff like building inner three by three blocks and then extending that with, you know, an outer wing, middle, middle edge and other wing uh, ed, uh, centerpiece and then extend from there. Or you can be even more flexible. There's, there's heaps of other tricks. But now I'm just going to show you some example center solves, uh, trying to be as efficient as possible. All right, so looking around the cube, uh, I see we have this one by five bar on the red already. And there's a few different things we could do from here. So I think the best thing to do is just to build the middle one by five bar alongside that. We can do that by bringing this up. So these two pieces like that. And then what we need to do is actually get two more of these pieces like that. So for example, this one and this one. And then we can insert these like that, hiding away this bar and bringing up like that, uh, bring, bring them down like that. And notice that when, when I inserted this, I didn't go R, U, R prime like that, because doing that would mean I put these two pieces, these two inner center pieces on this left side, when it's better to actually do a U prime when inserting that block and bring them down to the front. Uh, from the front, we can do something like this. So I would probably do it like that to get those three. And I noticed that we had opposite wings, one here and one here. So then I could just go like that to pair them up and insert it with an R prime like that. And as I was doing that R prime, I also noticed we had these, these three like that. So I'd probably go in and add this, uh, add this edge to these three like so, and then bring it into the top by matching it up with this outer corner, uh, center corner. Um, then I would do something like this. So pair these two up by doing that and then pair these two up with those two by doing R prime U R like that. And notice at the moment, I'm not doing very many slice moves at all. And I'm trying to keep the rotations fairly minimal. Obviously you will have to do a lot of rotations um, when you do your centers, but because it's such a big cube, doing rotations is kind of a lot slower than just rotating on a three by three. So you want to avoid that. And you also, you want to avoid slice moves because you can be quite prone to doing, to getting lockups when you do slice moves. Um, so now I'm going to insert this final one by five bar. And now we've got that. Now the next center is the orange opposite, opposite the, uh, opposite the red one. And you should be, you should try and be color neutral when you're doing centers as well, um, because it shouldn't be too hard because you're only doing one, one color at a time. Uh, you're not, don't, you're not focusing on, for example, different F2L colors. So I don't see very much initially, and it might be a little bit of a stretch to actually make a one by five bar. So I'm going to make the inner three by three block and then extend from there. So firstly, I'll make a T. So those three and that edge. And then what I can do, actually notice we had these three edges paired up, which is quite nice. So what I'm going to do then is insert these three like that, and then insert this last edge. So now we have this line, this line, and this line, um, and then make the final one by three inner bar, and then insert those. Now we can either insert th these by doing wide R, so three R moves U2 R prime, like that, 
But when we did that, um, these two which were attached to it ended up here. And it's probably quite easy if we do a slice move to insert this to keep these down here, like that. And then we can go straight away and add the third uh, edge to this block. So I did these two. And then we can add this into the top. Then we've got, we've got two opposite wings here. We can tell that because they're directly kind of adjacent to each other. So they're different wings. Um, in, in different orbits, sorry. And we can add these by doing something like this. So add these th four pieces to this center, like that, and then insert that, finish off the rest down here, and then add them to the top. Um, so now we've done that entire center. And the first thing I saw after that center was these three pieces and this ed uh, extra piece here. So I would probably go ahead and uh, add in that last one and do this one doing using one by five blocks. The next thing I saw was these three pieces already paired up and these two or these two are opposite wings. So we can do something like this. And as I was doing that, I saw this block as well, which is quite nice. You will notice that you get do get a lot of blocks as you do centers. So now we've got these three one by five bars on that, that side. Um, it's nice too when you have uh, an inner center connected with a wing, wing center, to keep them together and pair it up with the middle one. And then our last center is down here. And we can attach this piece to it, like so. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. I do intend this video to be more so for advanced solvers. Um, now it's a little bit more tricky. I want to pair these three middle edges up. Um, and I want to do that without doing too many slice moves. So I can do something like this. So align them like that. And then add in the two outer corner centers like that, and then put them down there. Um, again, we've got a fairly straightforward one by five block. Uh, just add this one. And notice again, I want to take this, take out this middle center, this edge center here, to bring it up to the top, so I can work with it and try and create a one by five bar. Um, I can't. It's a bit awkward to try and do that with this one. So what I'm going to do is just bring one down from the backside. Um, actually, I should have taken my own advice there. Instead of doing that, I can do U2 R prime F2 R to bring this uh, piece out. Then I would do something like this to pair up those three. Put them into the bottom. Now, because we've got these two corners there like that, it actually might be a little bit better for us to just create a one by three there add it in and then attach it like that. And notice that when I did that as well, I chose to take out this corner by doing a U, uh, I mean this centerpiece by doing a U instead of doing a U prime to take out this corner because it's better that we take out this piece as opposed to this piece uh, from, the center, uh, from the center side. So now all we need to do is put these three together and then finish off that last one by five bar. Now, obviously, in the last center, um, the easiest way to do it is with one by five bars, and you'll have a lot of easy cases that you run across because there's only, only so many places that the pieces can go. So I did those ones, and then we've got an easy case here, it's just doing a slice move. Um, here is where it gets a little bit more tricky. We can do these five pieces. Uh, we can insert these five pieces over to here by doing something like this. So L prime U L brings these three over here, and then wide L prime U L brings them down. And then we can go like that. Um, after this, I would pair up those four, make the one by five bar and insert that. And then lastly, I would do, whoops, what did I do there? I think I messed something up slightly. Um, I would do these four first and then do the commutator to finish off the centers. So yeah, I hope this quick video helped you out. Uh, obviously I made a few mistakes along the way with some of the naming of the centers, uh, but these videos are meant to be just really quick things that I can just make so that I can film, not edit very much and then upload. Uh, and that can be quite useful before we've actually created say tutorial content for the seven by seven.